International with me, Kevin Owen, and first the breaking news I mentioned just then. Rebels have reportedly entered Tripoli from the west as fighting in Libya appears to be intensifying tonight. Some estimates put the death toll from this weekend alone in the hundreds with around a thousand injured. It's also believed that major clashes have been, uh, seen rebels capture the capital's Mitiga airbase this evening. Opposition forces also claim to have freed prisoners locked up during the uprising against Gaddafi's regime. Let's get the latest from independent journalist Lizzie Fee and she's in Tripoli. She's been updating us all night. Lizzie, uh, it's good to hear you on the line again tonight. Uh, all reports saying that fighting is raging around the capital. From where you are, what can you tell us? Hi, Mark. Well, yeah, there are battles going on um, outside the hotel where I currently am in the Ben Ashur area of Tripoli. Um, but it does appear that these are relatively small groups of uh, rebels uh, or insurgents or whatever you want to call them and not um, kind of the impression that some kind of troops of, of the opposition have moved into the capital. So the question is really how long they can last out against uh, a battle of, against the Libyan army, which of course is a conventional army and has mass support here. The, the, the masses in Tripoli have been armed by the Libyan government since the beginning of the crisis. So really, we're just waiting it out and seeing how long this is going to last over the next few days. But as I, um, as I said, uh, they don't have any kind of popular support and they don't have uh, any kind of, they don't seem to have any large numbers inside the capital. So it doesn't look as though it will last for very long. Lizzie, w w paint the picture for us. What is the position on the streets tonight? Are there a lot of Colonel Gaddafi's forces out on the streets if the worst should happen? There, of, of course, the army is very much ready. They haven't been using anywhere near their full military capability. There are, of course, also, as I said, many volunteers, ordinary people who have taken taken up arms who are defending their areas. But this is uh, isolated. It's not the the opposition haven't taken any key parts of the city. They are merely uh, street battles. There's uh, snipers from people inside uh, people's houses taking cover behind families, which is one of the reasons why. It's so difficult to get rid of that. So rather than them taking any key positions, what it's doing is uh, and uh, rather than two strategic for the Libyan. Lizzie, we're having a few problems with the phone line uh, from Tripoli tonight. Obviously, uh, there's some uh, problems with it, with everything that's going on around you there. Um, earlier on, Colonel Gaddafi went on TV to say that he would protect Tripoli, he wouldn't leave Tripoli. He also called on people there to take up arms and protect the yeah. capital. What has the public response been? You're saying that a lot of the public in the city are very much behind him. What was the response to taking up arms? Well, yes, as I said, many of the people who have uh, been defending the streets are ordinary people who have been armed since the beginning of the crisis. They've set up checkpoints across the city. And then, of course, there is also the threat for the rebels inside the city that the tribes from outside the city will respond to the call by uh, the Libyan leader, Mohamed Gaddafi. Of course, we know that the, the overwhelming uh, majority of tribes in the city are behind the leader. Uh, and so that would really be a disastrous situation for the opposition if they began marching also onto the capital to um, support people inside the city. Yeah, Lizzie, I want to try and stay with you as long as we can. Again, we're having some problems with the um, phone line from you there. Um, I, I'm taking what you're saying, that there are no, as you can see at least around you, no huge pitch battles on the streets. Nonetheless, we hear that the rebels, uh, with NATO clearing away for them, are on their way. No matter how you look at it, the tension is certainly ratcheting up tonight. Uh, if they do get into the city, the rebels, what sort of uh, battle could there be? No, let, sorry, um, I maybe I didn't make myself clear. There are battles occurring inside the city. But what we said is that the really minor battles in the street and also the red houses are. Yeah, Lizzie, I'm awfully sorry. We're going to have to leave uh, uh, the uh, the phone conversation with you there because the quality's deteriorated too much, uh, if you can still hear me. Independent journalist Lizzie Phelan there from Tripoli, uh, bringing us up to date on what she is seeing around her there tonight in that city that uh, all reports say uh, could well be under siege or beginning to be anyway.